Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing? And so I'm back with um, a new look and a new palette, and I thought I'd go ahead and get started here. Um, so I did go ahead and use a Super Goop uh, Glow Oil, and this one has the SPF of 50. And then as far as what I use for foundation, I use Pretty Fresh, and this one is in light 33C, and it didn't quite work for me. Um, I'd actually got this one because I got one buy one get one 50% off and so I thought that I would go ahead and get some colors to play around with since I'm self tanning and so this one was a little bit cool on me um, I did go ahead and add in the sole and yeah this bottle has seen or squeeze tube has seen better days but this is the sole face and body bronzer and it's in fair and um, so I added a little bit of this to this and it worked out fine this to me is an amazing product you can um, since it is a cream liquid bronzer and there's a lot of it you can go ahead and add it into your foundation if it's off by a little bit and it will go ahead and just give you a warmer kind of look to it so yeah Great product. Soul is a sister company to ColourPop who makes uh, the Pretty Fresh. And you can get this on the ColourPop website. You can get this on the ColourPop website over at Target or over at Ulta. So, yeah, these are all really good products that I like. Um, let's see, what else? And as far as going ahead and moving to uh, blush, kind of went ahead and started out with this Between the Sheets. It's a Super Shock uh, blush by Colourpop again. And I went ahead and added in, because I wanted it to be a little bit more rosy. And this is the Bare Minerals uh, Blonzer in Kiss of Rose. So I went ahead and added this in. So it's pretty much a combination of these two as far as what I have on the cheeks today. And I did go ahead and use a bronzer, and I'm going to knock the camera when I go ahead and get this. Okay, I managed not to knock the camera. That was a good thing. Um, but the She Glam, and this is Morning Beam. She Glam you can get on the Sheen website, and this is their lightest bronzer. And so just a tip that I found. If you're going ahead and using a cream or liquid blush, go ahead and put it on and then put your powder bronzer over at the top of it and it will actually stay for a little bit longer because you know sometimes powder products will disappear over the day and um, a cream blush, you know, you put that on, you put a little bit of a powder bronzer over it and it will stay for a while which is a really nice thing when you're going all day long and you don't have time to be, you know, doing the touch-ups every, <clears throat> every half hour or whatever. That's what it feels like. It's probably not that, but that's kind of what it feels like. Okay, so I have on the Just Because, and this is a Just a Tint by ColourPop as well. I'm going to put more on here. So there's that. Uh, let's see what else I have. Um, I did go ahead and use the NYX Stick It Stick It in my dash brown. And then as far as what I did for mascara, the um, It Superhero, and I mixed that with the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour. So these are the two that I have on. This one is actually a 2B mascara, and this one is a lengthening. So you put them together, and you got magic. And um, let's see, what else did I do here? Oh, highlighter. I did the Seismic Highlighter from ColourPop, and that's the way that it looks. And yeah, I had pan on, I think this is either my third or my fourth highlighter. So I like Seismic a lot. It does have a little bit of glitter in it, not a lot, but there is some. So if you don't like that, may not be the one for you. If you don't like that, Flexitarian pretty much does a wet highlight look and it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay, so this is what I picked off or picked up off of Timu. 
the website. And I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I have a feeling that I would just butcher it. So um, this one is a dupe of the Natasha Denona. And is it the retro? It's not the retro. I'm not sure what the name of it is. Well, I don't have the Natasha Denona palette in anyway. Um, this is what I have on my eyes today. And I did go ahead and start with this. This is my base color. I used this right under the brow. I went ahead and used this on the inner corner. Uh, this on the lid. And then I put some of this on the outer corner to go ahead and deepen it up a little bit. And uh, as far as an eyeliner, I used the ColourPop eyeliner here. And um, so that's the way I got the look today. Now, if you want to, if you are really interested in the Natasha Denona palette and you want an exact dupe of the Natasha Denona palette, this is a good palette. Um, it has a lot of good points. It has more good points than it does bad points. Good points being that if you get it on sale over at Timu, you can go ahead and get it for about $3. I mean, you can't beat that. And um, uh, it is a really pretty palette. Um, the other good point to it is that if you're traveling and you don't want to travel with one of your really ex expensive palettes and you want something that will that you can build up to do good looks and something that if it breaks or you lose it or something, you're not going to be too upset about it. Again, good point, good palette. Bad point of the palette. This shade is hard pant. And it's something that, you know, with my makeup collection, I have several shades that I can use and replace and basically replace this shade. So it's not a big deal for me. The other way to look at this, however, is that this particular color scheme is huge. It's a classic color scheme color scheme. Everybody and their brother has done this color scheme. All different price levels have done this color scheme. Um, I have a couple of ColourPop palettes. I have some Revolution palettes that have this color scheme. This is a classic one. It's all over the place. So if you want to go for something more elaborate, but you don't want to spend the $69 for the Natasha Denona palette, there are all sorts of different price points that you can get this color scheme. But you may not be able to get another one that's a dupe for the Natasha Denona. And so if you're really interested in the N Natasha Denona, yeah, I would recommend it. You may have some a shade or a couple of shades that aren't that good, but you know, um, it's definitely a good option out there. Is it the best option? Are there options that are a little bit more expensive that I would probably go for? Mm, you know, um, but I guess it depends on what you're looking for and what you need at the moment. And um, so I think it's good for the money. And I think that you can definitely work with it to make it work. And as far as the way that my eye look came out, that's what I ended up with. And again, um, I if it's something that you're looking forward to, then definitely. And I think that's about my whole video. And I hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye.